Maybe no. Now go. <laughs> hey, this is, uh, this is Jeff back with Grab of X Games. I'm the developer of Cup of Your Kingdom, and we're doing a quick demo of Cup of Your Kingdom tonight uh, on Tabletop Simulator. And uh, I've got uh, got Dave with me, who's the developer who put this together. You want to introduce yourself, Dave? Yeah, um, Dave Stevens. I'm with uh, Raging Rickshaw. I'm also known as Lifestrom within the, the gaming world here. Um, and somebody's been messing with my place, man. <laughs> <laughs> set back up here. I got the stack of bookends uh, here, but yeah. So I've been doing. You put, you... <laughs> so I've been doing mobile games for a long time, but I've been, you know, talking with Jeff quite a bit about his game. It's amazing. So um, I'm pleased to be in a part of it. Um, Wes. That's yeah, good. Wes, let's hear about your your gig there. Hey guys, I'm uh, Wes from Fundamental Games. I've been uh, trying to get more and more involved in this tabletop simulator uh, in in regards to the hobby game world. So I've been trying to create people's games online and share it through videos and had a chance to play this one through a couple of times. And uh, Jeff was kind enough and Dave was kind enough to give me a chance to play with them, which is fantastic. Playing with the actual designers and creators of this game. So glad to be here. It kind of cracks me up that Wes is saying that we're kind enough to allow him. But he's, he's one. <laughs> Day one of his Kickstarter campaign, and this is what he's doing with his evening. So we're, we're super indebted to him for joining us to do the demo tonight. Why don't you tell us a little about your project? Well, I'm a sucker for fantasy. I've loved fantasy all my life. So well, my game is all about fantasy. It's about um, trying to minimize the D&D experience to a single one-shot uh, adventure for one to five players. And you just you sit down with your friends, you play the game, you, be, you start as a low-level hero and end up as an epic uh, adventure that can take down the dragon or uh, the hydra. And it, it's just a blast to play really quick instead of those 40-60 uh, hour campaigns of Gloomhaven or miniature <laughs> war games that you see out there. Uh -huh. A That's single, awesome. and, a single uh, uh, round of four uh, E combat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sixty hours in one session, you can do right. it. Oh, goodness, yeah, that's that's intense. Yeah, and uh, if you guys can't hear it from his voice, Wes is from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> catch, catch that with the with the abouts there. So, what well, what part of Canada do you live in, Wes? I just have to say more thank yous and pleases, and you catch on right away. Uh, <laughs> You probably know me from the Calgary, Alberta area. I mean, I'm from a little town called Olds, which is about an hour and a half north of there, but uh, I live in uh, near Calgary. So, Okay, awesome. Well, let me give you guys a quick overview of what we got going on. Um, every every player has their own kingdom, and in the in the final version of the game, which this is still, uh, the artwork that we have in here is, is kind of the semi-final artwork that we uploaded when we were building the, building the game out. Uh, but every kingdom has its own name, and every player is the ruler of their own kingdom. And your objective is to collect magic for your kingdom. And, and the way that you get magic is by, by convincing creatures to come and live in your kingdom. Each one brings with it a certain magic value, which is indicated in, uh, in the corner of the card. Uh, in order to get those creatures to join your kingdom, they have to be formed into clans, because they, they, they don't like to hang out by themselves. So you can make a clan by, by pairing together two creatures that are identical or one creature along with uh, with a wild creature. Um, and every time you create a new clan, it's stacked on top of the previous one, like like we got going on over here. You see how we have these uh, these Yogi Yeti on top of the, the Cyclops. Um, and uh, the top clan in each player's pile is vulnerable and can be stolen by another player if they uh, have a matching card in their hand on their turn. Uh, that, that's my favorite part, by the way, my favorite part. <laughs> the, the stealing part there? Exactly. Oh man, it's, uh, I thought you were a Canadian, Wes. That's not very nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've got to live uh, vicariously through games because I wouldn't do it in real life. See. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, your your cards are stacked one on top of the other. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rotate Dave's here because it's messing with my OCD. And we'll yeah, I've been, I've been trying to though. fix it. It, it. it keeps breaking. <laughs> Um, so there, there are creatures that live in two different regions. We have those that live in the valley, and you can see the little the little valley symbol on them, and those that live in the mountains. And then there are a couple of, of creatures, the pigsies and the hentars. This is a hentar over here on Dave's pile, which, oops, I messed that up. Sorry, Dave, I fix that. Uh, <laughs> and they can go into, uh, into either region, um, and that's a, a big strategic advantage in the game, um, being able to cover up sets of creatures. And, and kind of the hook of the game is that every time uh, a, a set of creatures is stolen, um, that set of creatures increases in value and, and it makes it so that other players want to acquire that set of creatures more. Um, 
And uh, as the game progresses, the, the clans move back and forth between the kingdoms. There are also some other special cards that we'll introduce along the way, but that's uh, that's the gist of it. So let's jump on in and we'll, we'll do a demo here. So it's my turn right now. Um, I could, uh, I have a couple options. Um, I can I can create a clan from using cards in my hand. If there are any cards in the discard pile, I could also use a, a card to do that. Or I could try to, to steal one of the clans from, from one of the other players um, if I have a matching card uh, in my hand. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna create a clan right now. And I'm gonna use my, my unicorn, which I'm gonna rotate here. And I'm going to pair it with a, a Cerberus Terrier, which is a wild loops. How do I ungroup that there? Let's see. There you go. And, so, and Dave, there, you can, uh, you, Dave, if you hold Alt over his card, you can zoom and show the audience. Yeah, I should be doing that. That magnificent, right. that magnificent animal. The yeah, unicorn, yes. It's quite, this quite a, delightful. Uh, this, this one's got the, the bubbles. That's am I, right. Am I, am I doing this wrong here? Let's see. Oops, that's the wrong way. There we go. I want to hear it. E to rotate. Okay, there we go. I'm still learning how this tabletop simulator thing actually works. Um, all right, so I've, I've done that as my first action. Uh, as my second action, I, I know I'm just going to end my turn, but you can take up to two actions per turn, but you only have to take one. You, uh, if you're unable to do anything else, you can always discard and draw. Sometimes I like to discard and draw even when I can do something else just to flush out low value cards for my hand. All right, so I'm going to pass the the turn indicator, which is not normally this this glorious night, but uh, <laughs> in the in the final game, it will be a three dimensional crown. What's that? Actually, you want to see a glorious night? There? <laughs> there's a glorious oh, night. Oh, he's, Giant he's, gross. He's, he's, <laughs> I feel like he's intimidated right now. He's he's growing. It's uh, there. You go. <laughs> so the uh, the final game, it will be a, a three dimensional crown that's going to be constructed from uh, from punchboard. I'm actually working with a couple of different design firms right now, getting uh, some designs. Uh, drawn up. I, we, we tried to do that on our own with the factory, and none of them were cool enough looking, quite frankly. So we're, we're uh, outsourcing that to, to another group. So it looks awesome. All right. So Wes's turn now. So then I could do something that I mentioned I like to do, and I could say, you know what? I really like your clan of Volsents over there, and I want them to join my side. So Dave, what are you going to do about Volsent? Spock like tree. That's it's a he's trying to herd different. A Volk ant. A Volk ant. <laughs> That's right. That's fantastic. A, 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 a Vulcan, a Vulcan ant. Yes, it's quite. Good. Yep. I'm blocking uh, your attempt here with a spy dress. That so counts he, as two. And that is worth a glorious amount of points. And I have nothing to. to I, I choose not to stop that. So you may have my balls. <laughs> you're, 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 you're figuring that out there, Wes. You always say you choose. You, it's not that you can't. It's just you just don't want to. That's so, right. Uh, and spy dress, it, there are two different classes of wilds. There are the the Serbo Russell Terriers, which are worth 20 magic, and then the, the spiders, which are worth 40. Spiders are not just worth twice as many points, they actually carry the weight of two creatures. So if, if you encounter a spider when someone else is challenging you or defending, you have to counter with a spider or, of your own or two matching creatures. Or you could do uh, a combination of one matching creature and a Cerberusal Terrier, or two of the Cerberusal Terriers, just, just two other creatures that, that, that are equivalent. All right, you have another action available to you there. Um, yeah. Do you want to do anything else there, Wes? Well, I was just trying to show that I was Canadian. That's why I gave him my Volsent. So just <laughs> letting, letting you know. Okay. Uh, but I've got a magically malicious Leprechaun Man. And one of my actions I can take is I can actually build upon one of the top clans I already have. So I don't have to do anything mean. I can just throw this guy on here as my second action and then draw back up to six cards. Okay. And I'll draw back up to six and as well. I used a card to, to defend. Yep, he used a card in defending. So you're always going to draw the player whose turn it was draws first, and then the player who was attacked would draw after that. If both of us had been attacked and we both used cards, we would draw in clockwise fashion. All right, go ahead and pass your token there, Wes. Uh, I can do that, oh, yes. Oh, oh, take it, take it, take it. All right. Take it away. I, I've got a bone to pick with you over here. Try to take my Vulcans. No, sir. Uh -oh. Here, I'm using a Minotaur. Oh, right. Oh, does that mean I'm stuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it forces you to skip a turn. We actually just added a new mechanic to it a couple of days ago. We got oh, some yeah? feedback that uh, that people were saying, you know, the, the skip card, it just feels like it's kind of a a, a dead end sort of thing. Um, and, and the reason that it exists there is is actually to prevent someone from getting too far ahead in the game. It's a, it's a balancing mechanic. But I can see the reason that, that people were like, ah, it's just, 
we can't do anything about it. So we actually added a counter to it. Well, it's, it's, it's more of a of a divert or a way to divert it rather than counter it. So if you chose, if you had a if you had a spider in your hand, you could choose to discard that spider into the permanent discard pile, which is over here on the other side of the discard pile. And by doing so, you would have been able to pass that avatar oh. to another player. Um, so the, it comes at a cost. It's a pretty significant one. You have to give up a spider in order to do it, and there are only five spiders oh in the in the game. So it's uh, it's kind of a, a a tricky little bit there of, of is it worth just taking the the loss of a turn, or is it worth spending uh, or getting rid of a card that's of high value in order to to avoid having that happen to you? So that's uh, that's a new mechanic that we just added to it. Uh, a couple of days ago based on feedback that we've had from some of our testers and we we do love having lots of people look at the game um it's it's been developed with uh some really great great strategic minds including dave's and i'm i'm, I'm very happy with the balance of it at this point all right so you've got your turn skipped uh, unless you have a spider in your hand that you want to use and you i do not have a spider Oh, you shouldn't have okay, said so that. Dave, you don't you have... want to use it, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I have three of them. I just, uh, I just don't want to play them right now. All right. Here's your player token here. All right. So I'm going to do something uh, kind of fun here. I'm going to no. drop one of these on, on Dave. Oh, <laughs> bam! Oh. T take that, Dave. Take that. I'm going to oh, get two turns in a row here. This is awesome. Because <laughs> 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 no one else could do that, it. Right that's now. pretty slow. So yeah. While they are locked down with the minotaur they still can defend um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and take uh i'm going to grab my my bragging here Oof. and i'm going to combine it with a servo russell terry i'm going to i'm going to form yep. a clan now normally you don't I normally have, wouldn't right you wouldn't have to show say? people yeah i was just saying no you wouldn't have to show people it would it actually be strategic for me not to show people but there's no choice but to do that because i don't know how to do it otherwise what is this? <laughs> Uh, so I, I normally wouldn't do that and leave it exposed unless I could cover it right away. But in this case, I've got uh, um, <laughs> I've got an extra turret available to me because uh, both of these guys have the Minotaurs. Um, I'm going to replenish my hand, and we're going to let them both take their turn. And for your turn, you're just going to put your Minotaur in yep. your permanent discard pile. You're just you're just discarding it back over and out. So you get that's your that's your full turn. Um, if I had been able to, to challenge one of them and try to steal from them, they would have been able to defend, even though their turns were skipped, they're still able to defend their own, their own kingdom. All right, since this is madness. Now, since both of you guys have, have been skipped, I'm going to try to go for your Yogi Yeti over here, Wes. <laughs> what do you think this is? I don't like Yeti's. He's all yours. Or she, um, I can't tell. It's a, I, it's a female Yeti. Okay. It's a, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of, lot of hair. I know. I, I can't bend that way, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm going to grab those. This is a mountain creature. You know what? I just realized that I have my unicorns in the wrong pile here. I was just talking while I was playing. So let me rearrange this here. So the uh, dragons are mountain creature. I'm going to put them over here. And the unicorns are a valley creature. So is it called a bragging because they brag about themselves? Is that it? They I've are, got loads of gold. They're, they're rather they're rather conceited, the braggings. And, and I see on, the, on the final game, every single card in the game is slightly individualized. So there are so nice bragging cards, and every single one's bragging about a precious item that it has. A lot of them are actually Easter eggs to other games in our lineup here. Um, all right, Dave, I'm going to go for your, your Vulcans now. Oh, you're... Do any of them here. sound like Sean Connery? Uh, the, uh, the spiders do. No, thank you. Because they're, 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 they're James Bond spiders. Oh, are you, are you oh. denying me? No, I'm going to, I'm going to go after you. Yeah, the Sir Russell. Hey! Hey! All right, it's all yours. Oh, what? Yeah, you mean by that reaction, I get to keep these, right? Okay. You guys have some I nice three-headed dogs. Oh, there's a spider in there. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I was able to uh, to steal his Vulcans, and it had a nice collection of other cards in there. Yep. So that that, that is value, the... it, that is that is that is the set in the game right now to collect. I'm going to be sweating a little bit while I have that <laughs> in my collection because it's it's worth a tidy hundred plus points now with the two. Oh my! Uh, Russell Terriers and the and the spider in there. Um, but you get to draw right. cards, so you can still. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw back up to six. Oh, oh, the deck. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the game is over. <laughs> I'm, 
I, I can't be too safe. I'm gonna yep. take all the cards, make sure that you guys can do it. <laughs> so I right. so, 110 let's, cards. So let's <laughs> finish this. Let's finish this round. So Wes, you go, then I'll go, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. That's this is the new. Fir- there's your first player marker. I removed the knight, so. Oh, there you go. Okay. There we go. I, I thought you were taking notes on that over there, Wes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, while well, it was my turn, I did a little Photoshop fun. Okay, so I'm going to chuck this leprechaun away so I can draw a card as my first action. You know, you could and stick that in your. Uh... Oh, but you I could. I could. Yeah, no, I, but I, 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 I really like the look I, of that. I actually liked what you did there. So instead of just putting it onto your stack, which you could have done, you wanted to get a new card. So you discarded it to, to replenish immediately. Okay, so you're going for my. My uh, Vulcans, and I unfortunately can't defend them, so you're going to take that whole fatty stack there. That's and, how it's done. Oi. Uh, so he's got his lever in here. Even though he's got the Vulcan underneath, it looks like he's adding to the stack. There are actually two different clans there. there you go. Oh, Oops. Now, not they're, now they're together. Now, now they're merged. <laughs> Wait, let me, let, let me uh, fix this. There okay, those go. are the original eight. There's, those eight aren't going to change anyway, I don't think, so we'll do this. All right, uh, that's my turn. There we wow. go. We normally wouldn't do that, but that helps keep track of where it's at visually. Yep. All right. Okay, that's it for you. That's that okay. turn. So, player token for me. If I, well, I Take it right away. Come on. Hold that button. <laughs> okay. Listen, I didn't win it. I, I think, there you go. I'll I move think, it for you. I think you're, you're only the one who can touch it. It's locked for you, Wes. Yeah, you yeah. got the, 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 the privilege. It's just too heavy for you guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a Canadian? All right, thing? so Dave's like starting to clap. Wow, that's that's. Oh, I got to draw my card. And I, I got I discarded the right. the clack in there. Okay. Hmm. So this well, this game will, will will scale down to two players and then play all the way up to six players uh, um, with with two sets. And then if you want to play a seven or eight, you go down to one stack per player. Um, yeah, have uh, you played this game? What is this game like with eight players? Have you played it with eight players? That sounds with crazy. Eight, with, eight, with eight players, you really have to be at one stack per person for a couple of reasons. First off, it gets really thin if you're doing two stacks per player. Um, it's it's really hard to hold on to anything. Um, but it's it's nutty at eight players for sure. Um, we're still testing hand size at that at that extreme. I think we might go down to five. Um, with uh, with one stack is is uh, is likely where we'll end up. So we're. We're and, finalizing and, the testing on that, and I, I'm just finalizing the testing on two players. Well, we've got that one figured out right. for our last. Okay, so I'm awesome. trying. To, I'm trying to take your Vulcan there, Wes. Oh, okay. You take in my Vulcan again? What's going on here? Okay. For you. Um, 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 it's all yours. All right. I'll just do this for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you I, go. Yeah, I trust you on that one. Oh, now you you made me stack it up though. That's true. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. There it is. And I like this. Now it's up to nine cards. We 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 said we're gonna there end you. the turn right now. So ha ha. Uh, you just got the you got the big fat stuff there. Right. My so, goodness. Uh, that that's more or less how the game is played. There there are a few additional special cards. Let's see if I can find a few of them here. To I I got the hypnograph right but... here. So you got the hypnograph. Okay, you want to talk I, I didn't about the hypnograph because I wanted the 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 Vulcan. Yep, so this is the one. So the hypnograph. Yep. I'm yeah, showing the audience right here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, if you want to show them the deck, you can right click and click search, and you can look at the entire deck at once. And you kind of scroll over. Oh, yeah, what you do that? If, if Jeff can <laughs> leave, leave the deck alone for a second so I can do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun messing with you here. All right, go ahead, Dave. Grab the deck. All right, I'll leave so it I got, I got I it promise. here. So what, what are we missing? Oh, the Moblins. We need the Moblins. And the moblins, we need oh, the elves. Oh, there we go. We got the, we got these guys. Oh, uh, flip them over. Uh, and the wizard as well. So we've only seen one of the action yeah, cards in place so far. And of course, all of these are available. You could see them all. Well, I don't know. Can you see them all on site right now? Like you do I, have I them I can't on your Facebook, you Facebook page. You got oh, yes, your. Every... We 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 revealed. Um, all, I mean, all the creatures are are on the page, but I haven't revealed all of the customizations. Of oh every yeah. Yet. That's that. I'm kind of I'm kind of teasing that out. We just I'm actually gonna be putting up a post after this, exposing or, or revealing all the different clackens, um, which are some of my favorite creatures in the games. In the game, uh, our lovely uh, river dancing kraken. Um, yep. He's, uh, 
There's a lard in the river. <laughs> so the wizard, I'm showing the audience here, is like a, move a clan from top to the bottom or bottom of the top of the stack. So you can see like when you want to protect a, uh, protect a certain clan, like this this Vulcan pile, I'd really want to have that wizard to, you know, bury it deep in the deck or uh, or I could, you know, do that to somebody else, bring something from the bottom to the top if they've got yeah, something yeah, that they bury. Yeah, right. yeah, my, my Braggans here that have, have a wild tuck behind them, that would be right. a good use of the wizard to bring that yep. to the top if you had a brag and then you'd be able to steal right. it from me. Um, but in, uh, in your case, we're really early in the game right now. With the three-player game, we're, we're likely going to have like six or seven clans within each stack. So if you had just acquired those Vulcans and yep. you had the the um, the wizard available, you could drop that to the bottom of your stack and give it quite a right. quite a bit of protection. Basically, keep it out of the out of reach. Okay, so we're well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, Jeff, do you want to say anything last last words about the Kickstarter as we finish it up here? Uh, we're 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 wrapping up on Thursday. We've uh, We've been just super excited for the with the reception that game has had. We uh, we were hoping to raise. Uh, I mean, our, our our initial goal was five thousand. Then we had stretch goals up to fifty grand, and that was kind of like where where we hoped to reach. And we've we've blown past fifty grand, and we're we're almost to sixty five. And and uh, we've got a few extra last minute goals that we've added. We've we've already made all the additions to the game that we were hoping to make, and so the. The stuff from here on out is just some some fun add-ons. I'm actually I'm going to design a, a print-at-home mat piece for the center of the table where you can put your draw and discard piles. Um, and uh, we've got uh, some other fun digital unlocks and and uh, I'm going to do a print and play version and and some other cool things. And then the the game will will uh, ship in October if um, if uh, everything goes according to plan. We we also are, are missing some components that that were added into the final game, uh, mainly the Star Unite expansion, which that adds uh, 60 tokens to the game. And every time you acquire a creature for the first time, you get to, to add a constellation to the night sky. And that's on the that's on the flip side of these play maps. This is the daytime scene, which is a simplified version. And then you flip it over and you, you enter into the more intense version. And then there are also uh, kingdom powers, which give a special ability to each player that is exclusive to them, um, like being able to hold an extra creature in your hand, or, uh, or one of my favorites, uh, being able to use Hentars to, to steal unicorns or peg legacies, um, or uh, being able to use uh, some of the special cards interchangeably. There are, there are all kinds of different different powers um, that, are, that are assigned players. So once you add in all of the, the different components and those new upgrades through the stretch goals, it, it really becomes a, a very fun and strategic game. Kind of hard to demo in a tabletop simulator how <laughs> fast paced it is, because every turn is, is kind of laborious. But it, it's it's a quick moving game. Turns usually take uh, 10 or 15 seconds for, for players to go through, um, and uh, you never quite know who's gonna gonna win until right up at the end. Um, and then uh, and uh, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. So excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you very much, Wes. Um, hey, Jeff, do you want to do the honors? Let's flip the table. At the very top, oh, let's do it. You'll, you'll see an option there. Click the flip button. I'll flip the button. Uh, mine is locked. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I okay. I guess that's you, Wes. I guess probably a good Wait. Oh, oh, go. Somebody did it. Somebody oh, did it. All right. All right. Flipping awesome. That's that. All right, guys. That's tabletop sim well, for you. Of course, there's no way to thank go you back. For joining from that. us. Once people join, that, yeah, and, it's gone. And, <laughs> if you look at our at our Kickstarter campaign, there are instructions of how to, to download an access if if you have tabletop sim. Everyone, it's it's free to play on tabletop if you have the the application. That's yeah. that's the way to to wait uh, bide your time for the real game to come out. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. Thank you all. All right, uh, thank you guys.